Hi everyone, so we're going to be doing a continuation of Amber Heard's trial, being cross-examined. Mind, don't mind the, on the left where you see all this stuff, because I still don't know what to do with it. So, we're going to go here and continue what we started, okay? <laughs> Consistent with hearsay. Hearsay. Objection. I'm having such a good time with this new thing I have, with this new thing my boyfriend um, downloaded for me. I'm having so much fun. I love it because I, I, I like to talk sometimes. Oh boy. Let me clean my ears. Yeah, okay. <sighs> She's dressed very modestly, that lawyer. They're all laughing. Why are they laughing? Oh, the fat lady looks a little bit left out. Again, like his glasses. You sent it to her on August seventh, two thousand fourteen, eleven twenty-four p.m. Correct. So she's sending pictures of of her husband that looks like this to her friends. Like what the heck, right? That is correct. Not nice. So you sent Miss Pennington this picture of Mr. Depp with ice cream spilled on him, right? That is correct. And you wrote, quote, this is what I've been dealing with, end quote. Did I read that right? You did read that right. That's correct. And this is you protecting Mr. Depp. That is me getting support from my best friend. This is you supporting Mr. Depp. This is me getting support from my best friend. I also need support. You weren't afraid the I monster would get upset that you took this picture? I also need support. That's a good point. She, if she was, uh, if she would take this picture of a monster, he could, if he was a bad person, he could really hurt her. This was um, Opiate Johnny. This is a uh, different version of him. This is Opiate on the nod, Johnny. And you weren't afraid that Opiate Johnny or the monster, as you called him, would get upset that you sent this picture to your friend? Well, he's all of those things. He, of course he could get upset. Of course, that's scary to me, of course. But did it stop you from sending this picture to your friend, did it? Why would it? <laughs> she's a good lawyer. She's a good... She's really good at her job. She has nothing Mr. to Duff's say. Hand, right hand is in his pocket, right, Miss Heard? Yes, picture? that's correct. You also showed this jury pictures of cocaine. Do you call that? Yes, that's correct. Let's please take a look at one of those. If we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 167A, which is already in evidence. First of all, I forgot to welcome everybody to my channel, Schmerzik Tipsy Tarot, where we snort, we uh -huh. sneeze, sniff, ooze, snooze, um, bar burp, twitch, itch, and all the unpleasantness that comes with my channel. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Directing your attention, Ms. Heard, to a photograph. This is a photograph you took in March of 2013, right? That is correct. And this was taken at your apartment in Orange? Yes. And this is your breakfast table? That is correct. And it's your testimony that Mr. Depp left this breakfast table just the way you took it? That is correct. So this is what the table looked like after Mr. Depp had been doing cocaine? Uh, well, clearly he has yet to snort these lines. There are four lines. I would think he already snorted it because of the way the lines are so neat, you know? Cocaine on this table, right, Miss Heard? In this picture, I see four lines. There isn't any cocaine residue around those lines, right? Uh, I, not that I can tell, no. Doesn't really look like anyone's been doing cocaine off that table, does it? With all due respect, I'm not sure you know how that works. <laughs> she got caught. She got caught. It wouldn't be so neat. It would be maybe it would wouldn't have. It would be like dust all over the table. Nothing. You do. You testified you've done cocaine. I have. Doesn't really look like Mr. Dab or anyone was doing cocaine off that table, does it? Uh, I beg to differ with you on that. When you snort cocaine, typically it goes into your nose. And there's doesn't stay residue. on the table. There's residue from that cocaine when your lips and nose touch the table, right? Well, the tampon applicator next to um, the credit. I mean, um, driver's license that you see is a device that. Uh, I believe my sister had taught him to use in order to 
She's trashing her sister. She's a junkie. Put the cocaine. Just like him, if, if that's the uh, case. In your nose. Mr. Depp is a pretty heavy smoker, right? He is. And, and that's a cigarette in the ashtray in the back there? Um, back right? Yes, it looks like one of his hand rolls. There's no other cigarettes in that ashtray, are there? I see one cigarette. The one that's not smoked? That's correct. There's no ash in that ashtray either, is there? Uh, not that I can tell in this picture. It's pretty clean. In this picture, it looks like it, yes. It's a pretty neat table. Wouldn't you agree? Um, depends on what you would call it, I suppose. <laughs> She's making her... This, this lawyer is too good. She's making her, like... She, she's making Amber nervous. And you sent this picture to your friend, Rocky Pennington, as well, didn't you? I sure did. And when you sent it, you said, quote, look at my morning, or something like that. Is that right? Yay for mornings. So you have a habit of sending stage photographs to your friend Rocky, don't you? I had a habit of communicating with my best friend about what was going on in my life. Stage You don't have any pictures of Mr. Depp actually consuming cocaine, do you? I don't think I have a picture of him mid-snort. No. Mr. You don't even have any pictures of Mr. Depp with cocaine. What do you mean by that? Holding cocaine, standing next to cocaine? Um, Sitting next to cocaine? I don't know. I don't know. Well, you haven't shown any of those pictures like that to the jury, have you? I don't know. I, no, I haven't. And you were never able to catch Mr. Depp with cocaine on film either, were you? I never tried. But you were able to catch him sleeping, right? Uh, I have seen him pass out in all sorts of places, yes. And you also captured a video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen that was played again for this jury today, uh, beating up some cabinets. Do you recall that? Sorry, say that again? You recall capturing Mr. Depp in the kitchen of one of his homes, beating up some cabinets? Yes, slamming things around, yes. So you took that video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen, right? I did, I did. And you took it on one of your iPad devices? Well, it could be scary when somebody is like having a tantrum, throwing a tantrum and throwing things around and banging things around. It could be scary, but in this instance, she knew that Johnny would never lay a hand on her. You know what I mean? So. <clears throat> I took it on my iPad. You were deposed in August of 2016 in connection with your divorce proceedings from Mr. Depp, right? That is correct. And you will recall that the video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen was released online the day before your deposition in August of 2016, don't you? That's correct. You're the one who released that video. Incorrect. Isn't that true? That's incorrect. I flew in from another place at the time. I remember learning about it when I landed. So it's just a coincidence that the video you took of Mr. Depp was released the day before you were deposed in connection with your divorce from Mr. Depp. I absolutely had nothing to do with that. I wouldn't even know how to do something like that. <laughs> you settled your divorce from Mr. Depp in August of 2016, right? That sounds right. And in connection with that settlement, you received uh, $7 million from Mr. Depp. That's True? the wedgie lady That's over there. Look, you see the lady in the flowery dress, in the black flowery dress? That she she had a wedgie before. 6.8, exactly. Your settlement's about Look at the other lady with the, with the black jacket and, and the polka dot shirt. It's interesting to see all the people, what they're wearing, you know? That was $7 million. That's correct. And then you released a statement in which you claimed you would be donating the entire $7 million to charity, right? That's correct. You stated you would be donating half of the $7 million to the ACLU. That's correct. And you would be donating the other half to Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. That is correct. And you also stated, with respect to the $7 million divorce settlement, that money played no role except for the extent that you could donate the money to charity. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Look at the Plaintiff's Exhibit 1259. <laughs> this is an article entitled Amber Heard Donates Johnny Depp Divorce Settlement to Charity. Read her statement in full. Is that correct? That's what the title says, yes. Directing your attention to the portion on the second page where it says, quote, read the statement below. Oh, I'm tired. Is that the statement you released, Ms. Heard? That is correct. Your Honor, I move to admit the statement and the article as redacted. Objection, hearsay. It's her statement. It, it, this is not her statement. This is some. This she just testified, Your Honor. That's her statement. Her statement. <laughs> May I see the full? Uh, everything else is redacted. Uh, oh my God, em Amber's team is not that sharp, you know. Like Johnny Depp found a really good team. Okay, then I have no objection. All right, one, two, five, nine, and evidence as redacted. The statement reads. As described in the restraining order and divorce settlement, money played no role for me personally and never has, except to the extent that I could donate it to charity and in doing so, hopefully help those less able to defend themselves. As reported- Uh, seriously? If I were Amber at this point, I would just be like, first of all, money does play a role because no one can live without money. Money is what keeps people alive. And 
it's important, you know? Like, anyone that says that money doesn't play a role, you know? I guess big money might play a role, but, you know, if you're... If someone gives you $7 million, I don't think I would be so quick to give it away to charity, you know? Like, it's a lot of money, and, you know, it could last a person a lifetime, you know? Reported in the media, the amount received in the divorce was $7 million, and $7 million is being donated. This is over and above any funds that I have given away in the past and will continue to give away in the future. Did I read that correctly? That is correct. I don't remember that last line, but I have no... I, it doesn't stand out to me as wrong. There's nothing inaccurate in the statement. Not that I recognize, no. She's about to get to something. Mr. Depp donated $100,000 of the divorce settlement directly to the ACLU. Is that right? Right at the beginning of the divorce settlement. He Very smart of him, you know? Very smart of him to make sure it goes to charity so she doesn't see a penny of it. He uh, donated 100000 to each charity on my behalf or towards my Each charity? So $100,000 to each. To the ACLU. And That's a lot of money. And to the Children's Hospital. And in response, you publicly demanded that Mr. Depp pay the divorce settlement directly to you instead of the charities, right? That was always the agreement, actually, is for him to pay me directly. It was not his money as per the settlement agreement to give away and reap the tax benefit from. I said if he wants to do it and give to charity all of a sudden, then he should pay the correct amount and not try to get a big tax break for it. So effectively for his tax bracket, he should be paying double that amount to the charity directly. And if he wanted to pay the charity directly, he could. He could do that was fine with me, but he would need to pay the adjusted amount. Ultimately, the rest of the $7 million divorce settlement was paid directly to you, right? Over time, yes. And Mr. Depp didn't end up paying the rest of the $7 million divorce settlement directly to the charities you identified. That is correct. He paid the installments to me. You stopped that from happening, didn't you? I don't understand what your question is. I'm sorry. You stopped Mr. Depp from paying the charities that you had named directly. That is incorrect. I said if you want to pay the charities directly, pay the adjusted amount, or pay as per our agreement in the settlement or in the divorce, as per our agreement. You also and he chose to do the former, not the latter. I mean, the other way around. You also publicly stated that the $7 million divorce settlement should be paid to the charities immediately in full, right? If he wanted to pay it in the way that he was suggesting, yes. And, and you said publicly that the payments to the charities should not be drawn out over many years, right? I said that, I don't, I don't recall the exact words that I used, but basically that he shouldn't use this as an, a novel interest in getting a tax break. That if he wanted to do that and not pay me the settlement, that was fine. But he would have to pay the adjusted amount and not make it, you know, a, a commitment he would not fulfill or try to avoid in some other way. And that's because you wanted... The entire world. He sounds like a very honorable person. Like, he, if he's going to give money to charity like she wants him to, then he'll give it, you know? Like, if she said, if she told him, oh, give it all now, give all the seven million now, he would. To think that you were donating every penny of the seven million dollar divorce settlement as soon as you received it from Mr. Depp. Isn't that right? No, I was going to be receiving it in installments and I would be paying in installments the donations. In fact, you released a statement in response to Mr. Depp's $100,000 donations to the ACLU and CHLA, didn't you? I don't recall. Let's see if we can refresh your recollection. Could you please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1260? This lady is literally tearing Amber. This is an article entitled Amber Heard and Johnny Depp Row Over Divorce Donations. And if I could direct your attention to where it says, I believe it's on the second page. Let's refresh your recollection. Let's refresh the statement. Let's the language that follows the statement you released is hearsay. Hearsay, your honor. An exception, your honor. Hearsay, your honor. Hearsay, I object, your honor. Hearsay, your honor. I object, your honor. I object, your honor. Hearsay, let's refresh your recollection. I don't recall. I don't recall. I don't recall. You released a statement. You're ready to approach again? Okay. Gosh, sheesh. Amber Heard's attorneys should have come up with, like, uh, another strategy. Because it's not working, their strategy, in public opinion. The public opinion. How does it look? Do you like it? Let's put makeup in the inside of my eye. Before we ask the next question, I'll just hand you a copy. Of this one. That's one inside. That's exactly what it is. I object, Your Honor. Your Honor, would you like to see one as well? No, I, that's right. I, that's fine. Thank okay. you. Could you please turn your microphone on? I'm sorry. 
Your Honor, they gave me a redacted, but I don't have the unredacted to be able to see the full document. I plan to admit it, or ask that it be admitted in redacted form. I'm taking away any hearsay, and I'm just trying to lay the foundation. But this is a statement she released through a spokesperson. How would I know whether there's more to it that shouldn't be redacted, Your Honor, if I don't see the full document? Your Honor, the witness can testify as to whether this is a full statement or not. The witness can't. Do, we have the right to be able to see the document. All right. Do you have a document that's not redacted? We can pull it up on our computers. Okay. Just give us a moment, Your Honor. Right. I can represent this is the full statement that's reported. Okay. Give her an opportunity to look at the unredacted form. Thank you, sunlight they have windows in the courtroom that's nice you know Amber Heard pick up her legal team. Like, they're not so sharp. So, Your Honor, can we have a copy of this? Yeah, I mean, you can get a copy of that uh, later, later yes. today. Okay. Right. I, mean, I think she should be giving us copies of the full. Well, I understand. We'll, we'll take care of that. But okay. as of right now, can we continue? You can, Your Honor, but I have an objection because of uh, there's some quotation marks missing. Okay. Good cool. legs. They both have bad legs. Both, both lawyers. I think Mr. Depp is doing the world a favor by by making coming to court and doing this, you know, like there's other people that are stuck in the same situation as him or were even sent to jail because somebody falsely accused them. Especially guys, you know. All right. So directing your attention, Ms. Heard, where it says her spokeswoman responded in a statement. Your the Honor, language that follows. Your Honor, again, she can't read it. She has to show The language that follows. It will lay a foundation to that. Go ahead. You released a statement after Mr. Depp donated $100,000 to the ACLU and $100,000 to CHLA. Correct, Ms. Heard? I think so, yes. Okay. And the language that follows is a statement you released in response to Mr. Depp's donation, right? I don't know if this is this, the official statement. I really, I have no idea. The statement that reads starts at Your Honor. Amber Heard. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Would you please read that to yourself, Ms. Heard? <laughs> Gosh, she's getting caught up in her own lies. This is terrible for her. <laughs> yes. Did you read all the way to the very bottom where the last word is supported? How embarrassing. Yes. That's a statement you released through your spokeswoman after Mr. Depp made the donations to the CHLA and the ACLU. Correct, Ms. Heard? I do not recall exactly what the statement was. I don't disagree with anything in the statement, but I just simply don't recall what the statement was we released. Is there anything inaccurate in that statement, Ms. Heard? No. I'm going to move to admit. Objection, Your Honor. Lack of foundation. I'll overrule the objection. 121260, evidence over objection. Lack of Thank foundation. You, Your Honor. I object, Your Honor. Lack of foundation. The statement reads, Amber Heard appreciates Johnny Depp's novel interest in supporting two of her favorite charities, the ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union for Domestic Violence, and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. This is great and unexpected news. And it continues. However, if Johnny wishes to change the settlement agreement, we must insist that he honor the full amount by donating $14 million to charity, which, after accounting for his tax deduction, is equal to his $7 million payment obligation to Amber. Oh my God. We would also insist that the full amount be paid immediately and not drawn out over many years. Anything less would be a transparent attempt by Johnny's counsel, Laura Wasser, and Patty Glazer to reduce their client's true payment by half under the guise of newfound concern for charities that he has never previously supported." End quote. Did I read that correctly? Yes. Thank you. After this, you kept commenting about the donation of your divorce settlement, right? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. 
You spoke about donating your divorce settlement on a Danish TV show, correct? Uh, I believe I said I had, um, I, I believe I said I donated it to charity, but it was already printed or are already commented on and stated in the press. I had already released that information in the press. I think I just confirmed it on that show. You appeared on a show called RTL Late Night, right? I don't recall it, which show it was. We could please play Plaintiff's Exhibit 346, which is a portion of your appearance on this program. And we would ask that it be moved into evidence and it, ask for it permission. Your Honor, it contains, it has hearsay, it contains other communications with other Your, Your Honor, if we may approach okay. very briefly. I object, Your Honor. Let me put more earrings in my ears so it can look sexy. Yeah. It's gonna look so sexy. So pretty. I object, Your Honor. Gosh, this is so boring. How could anyone watch this? Hmm. <laughs> She's side eyeing the jury, I'm guessing. Amber Heard. She's Heard. That's an interesting name, you know? It's like a herd of goats, a herd of sheep, a herd of, of herds. You know? More earrings in here. More earrings. More earrings to look sexy. Are they freaking kidding me? Let's fast forward. Ah, oh, they're gonna put it on now. This is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Put this in here. So, if we could please play and publish to the jury plaintiff's exhibit 346. All right, 346 in evidence. There, there allegedly were all kinds of accusations uh, flying your way when you said all this, and then there was a divorce settlement. You got $7 million. People were saying this is all about the money, but then you did something that uh, twisted that whole argument. What did you do with that money? $7 million in total was donated to, I split it between ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. ACLU is a human rights organization. Sorry, ACLU is a prominent um, uh, organization, non profit organization this in the United so States. It's so embarrassing. The How could she sit Union, there and, and then face the court? And they're proving her against their own mother. And there's no power to you because that's, that's something that I've never heard I of. I wanted uh, nothing. Oh my God, how could she like sit there? This interview and, uh, was in October of 2018, right, Mister? I don't recall when it was. It was in 2018, right, Mister? I don't remember when this was done. She looks. So this angry. was after you had received the full seven million dollars of your divorce settlement from Mister Depp, wasn't it? Again, without knowing when it was recorded, I have no idea. She's playing. Seven million dollars divorce settlement was paid to you in full around. in February of 2018, right? That's correct. Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1458, which is already in evidence. Seven freaking million dollars? A lady, she did good for herself. This is the deal point memorandum from your divorce settlement. She should have just, like, walked away. You know, grab the money, take the money, and run. Now she's in a mess. Such a stupid woman. <laughs> yes, that's what it looks like. Now if we go down to the bottom of page four, there's a heading labeled equalization payment. Do you see that? Yes. And underneath that, it outlines a payment schedule for the divorce payments, correct? Uh, yes. Well, it begins to, and if we go on page... If I got divorced and, page and, five. and my ex gave me $7 million, I would just take the money and run. Invest in real estate. So the first payment is scheduled for August 31st, 2016, and that's 200000 correct? Yes, that is correct. Mr. Depp's accountant, Edward White, testified that he made that payment directly... You gotta turn on your microphone, Ms. Bernhoff. I'm not gonna hear you. Objection to her testifying to what Mr. White testified to. Though. Okay. It's a, actually, it, he literally testified to it in court. I'll overrule objection. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Depp's accountant, Edward White, testified that he made the payment directly to the ACLU and CHLA, correct? I believe so, yes. And then the rest of the payments were all made to you, weren't they? That is correct. And the final payment of $2.3 million is on February 1st, 2018, right? The final payment, yes. And song. you were here in court when Mr. White testified the payments were all made on schedule. I'm going to object to her testifying to what Mr. White testified. I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> and you were here in court when Mr. White testified that the payments were all made on schedule, right? I don't believe they were. Uh, he might have testified. That's not my question, Mr. Heard. The question was, you were here in court when Mr. White testified under oath 
that all the payments were made on schedule. I was here every day in court. I, I heard his testimony, yes. Okay. So back to October of 2018, this was before Mr. Depp sued you for defamation, correct? Yes, that's correct. He didn't sue you until after the op-ed came out in December of 2018, okay. right? He sued me in 2019. And the op-ed came out in December of 2018? That is correct. So in October of 2018, you had received your entire $7 million divorce settlement. You that, agree with me? That is correct. Okay. And you hadn't yet been sued by Mr. Depp? This is uh, October, correct. So in this October 2018 interview, you said that you had, quote, donated, end quote, your entire divorce settlement to charity, right? That's correct. And in fact, the your exact liar. words were, quote, seven million in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote, right? That's, that's correct. I made that statement as soon as I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it, right then. And liar. you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire seven million dollars settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Sitting here today, Ms. Heard, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety of Ms. the Heard, settlement, that, $7 that's million not my to question. charity. And I, I she doesn't have receipts. If she had receipts, that's one thing. But she doesn't have no receipts that she pledged the money. I mean, she gave the money. I like the guy with the camera. He's so good. That's not my question. Please, <laughs> what try to answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million <sighs> donated. Now pledge, donate the $7 million divorce settlement. <laughs> I use pledge and donations. That's, that snort is dedicated to Amber Heard. Anonymous with one another. They but I don't. Miss Heard. Tribute. I don't use it anonymously. That's how donations are paid. Miss Heard, respectfully, that's not my question. As of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, correct? I have not yet. Johnny sued me. So as of today, you have not donated. Johnny's fault. It's Johnny's fault. It's not my fault. Paid $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity, right? I have not been able to fulfill those, uh, those uh, obligations yet. And that's because you did want something, didn't you? I didn't want anything and I didn't get anything. You wanted Mr. Dapp's money. Didn't get it, wasn't interested in it. I loved Johnny, that's why I was with him. You wanted praise for donating the money, right? That's incorrect. You wanted good press. In general, one <laughs> does want good press, yes. You wanted to seem altruistic, publicly. Wasn't my interest. Uh, my interest is uh, in my name and clearing my name, and at the time, I was being called a liar, and my motives were being questioned. She's a liar. I did see it as important to clear that up. I wanted to make a statement to make sure that there was not any doubt that I couldn't be labeled these things just because Johnny was a bigger star and had more publicity reach. You wanted to remind everyone of your claims of domestic violence against Mr. Depp, right? No, I wanted to move on with my life. You wanted to make those claims seem believable. No. They are believable. If she wanted to move on with her life, she would have just taken the money and ran. Well, they were You wanted them to be seen, you wanted to be seen, excuse me, as a noble victim of domestic violence. I have you? never, never wanted to be seen as a victim. Nor have you? I ever called myself one. Really? You testified under oath that, really? quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote, didn't you? That's correct. I pledged the entirety. No. Ms. Heard, my questions. Your counsel will have time to redirect you after. <laughs> oh, my God. She's sarcastic. The, the lady, the lawyer's sarcastic. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. I pledged the entirety. I'm going to move to strike everything after yes. Uh, all right. No. Ms. Hurt, this is really inappropriate. I'll sustain the objection and we'll just move forward. Thank you. Oh my God, she's she's, she's trying to, to, to talk with her, her team. That's crazy. Let's move forward. Next question. Under oath, that statement wasn't true, was it, Ms. Hurt? I'm sorry, I don't follow your question. Sorry. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That statement wasn't true. It is true. I pledged the entirety to charity. The statement. When you say you buy a house, you don't pay Ms. the Heard, entire house Heard, at one time. You pay I'm over asking, time. Ms. Heard. All right, next question, please. Thank you. That statement isn't true today, as you sit here today, is it? It is true. I pledged the entirety. But to you charity. didn't donate it. Unfortunately. You didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate. I mean, to fulfill those. So that's a no, right, Mister? I, I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I My friend's calling me. Hello. How are you? Did you go to America? Yeah, I went to America. One second, let me end this uh, one thing and then yeah, one second. Yeah, I was in America. What about you? Yeah. How are you? I'm, I'm very good. I, my kids came here. How was it? 
It was really, really good.